THB 11 is your back to school central and cell phones are a major talking point ahead of the new school year. A pilot program launched by Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders has school districts across the state planning to remove access to phones. THB 11's Rebecca Brown spoke with one district that's preparing to put those phones in pouches. A new school year is all about new beginnings and Searcy School District is doing just that as they take on a new journey of becoming a phoneless free school. We're looking at it from the stance of student engagement, making students more engaged, not just in their lessons, but with one another, uh, which we feel like will contribute to their mental health. Earlier this month, Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders invited Arkansas school districts to join a phone-free school mental health pilot program. Searcy Superintendent Bobby Hart says students will start putting phones in pouches during school hours, but the change won't happen right away. We haven't even set our timeline on how we may implement. Uh, we're going to start the school year just like we have been in the past. It's also a decision he made with the help of teachers and parents. As you might imagine, teachers were about 99% in favor of some form of restriction and parents were about 60-40. And so uh, we feel like that it's safe enough to uh, pursue and and continue to go down that path. Now they are sorting out minor details like when students can access their phones and addressing any safety concerns. This all comes as Governor Sanders continues raising awareness about a ground mental health crisis about kids and teens. It's a mission mental health counselor Mary Catherine Lisinski is on board with. In that range of 2010 to 2015, we saw huge increases in the rates of depression and even in the rates of suicide of, you know, children ages 10 to 14, which is so sad, you know, to see that rate. I believe it's actually tripled from 2010 to 2020, even before the pandemic. She says one of the best things families can do is limit screen time. Now we're seeing through research, it's critical for child development. Rebecca Brown, TSV 11 News. Rebecca, thank you. We've been following this month other school districts who are exploring the plan. That includes Hot Springs in Bentonville. Hot Springs, they've already started the school year, but won't have the pouches until a couple of weeks into August.